And as Kenter, welcome yes. in Holland. Uh, how did you end up here? Well, I came here uh, to Brussels. Well, I went to some uh, festival, the Turkish festival, and it was pretty awesome. And then I had some friends here, so I was like, it's like a, around two hours drive. So le let's go there and go meet some friends. So it was a, it's my first time coming uh, in Holland. Rotterdam. It was a pretty good experience. Yeah. You like it here in uh, in Rotterdam? Oh yeah, I love it. Well, I didn't really have chance to go around because I was um, pretty busy. But I think uh, you know tonight I'm gonna have some you know time to just go around and just uh, see uh, what's out there. Yeah. You're doing some uh, charity work right now. Uh, is that um, um, yeah, the, the way you were uh, doing? Uh, well, we, we came here today to meet with some uh, little fan, little fans. And you know, we talked about some basketball. We talk, you know, we, we play some games about you know confidence. And then end of the day, we get together. We play six on six. We were a li little bit, you know, we were I think we were like 12 to 13. Uh, mm -hmm. So we just we played like around like six against uh, seven. It was a definitely a really good experience. You know, I get to meet some you know little fans. You know, they ask me you know some questions, and I ask them some questions. So this was definitely a really good experience for me. Yeah. Um, all of this was about uh, confidence. Uh, it was an important thing uh, for playing for success. How important is confidence for a kid uh, around 10 years old? Well, I think it's, it's definitely. It's, it's, it's all about confidence because if you set your dreams high, then you can. If you believe yourself, I mean, there's a really good saying that if no one believes in you, believe in yourself. And if you chase your dreams, I'm not saying it's the 50, it's the 50 percent of success. If you uh, just uh, believe in yourself and then just work hard, and then. Uh, the the case are here is really bright. I think their future is going to be really bright, and the, you know, the most important thing they they're working really hard. They have a really good fa fa facility here. They have a really good people around them, and I think it's going to be really uh, fun to watch them grow. Yeah, um, confidence was important for you too. Uh, you went from Turkey to America to uh, uh, live the dream. Uh, it worked out pretty well for you, right? Definitely. Because my dream was always, you know, playing in the NBA one day. But you know, like you say, it was all about confidence because there's a lot of good people, good, uh, good basketball players out there. So I got the NBA first time, and it was a, uh, it was a, you know, confidence game because everybody's good, everybody's tall, everybody's playing really well. But like you said. Like I said, you know, you just, you just you just have to believe in yourself and just go out there and play your basketball. So it's all about uh, confidence, being being a good locker room guy, and just go out there, share, and just you know, just always got you know your teammates back. Yeah. How how much importance uh, is there in um, doing these charity things? I mean, um, these kids had a bit of a uh, maybe a disabled background or uh, uh, had difficulty at school. Um, how important is how important is it for these kids to to uh, meet people who, who uh, have had this confidence and, and and reached what they wanted to? Well, this is r really important because those kids are idolizing you, and then they see you as an example. So well, you just you have to you just sharing your uh, experience with them. NBA outside of the court, on the court, off the court. I think the the, the most important thing just you know just be friends with them and. Just tell them that basketball is about having fun, uh, playing playing well, sharing the ball, and just you know just being a good teammate. I think that this is all about it. Okay, thank you for uh, having us. Uh, you gonna do something uh, more in Rotterdam, or is this the last thing uh, you do here? Well, I'm gonna leave tonight. I came here. I'm gonna go some. Kind of, I'm gonna go see around the city, see mm -hmm. what's out there, and then I'm gonna leave tonight. But thank you guys for for you know having me. Okay, thank you.